welcome to Clueless Project Based Learning 2024. In this lesson, we are going to compile a Blue TS smart contract. In order to proceed, you need to have Node.js installed in your system. So I have opened up my VS Code and made a folder called uh, PPBL 2024. Um, in the terminal, I will check if I have Node installed by putting in Node test test version. As you can see, I have not installed in my system. Now I can see that the npm not package manager is also there in my system by saying npm test test version. Now I can proceed to uh, the next step. So Plutius is a smart contract language of Cardano based on TypeScript. The official documentations can be found in the provided link here in the lesson. So as a TypeScript project, you need to set up a TypeScript workspace with files like tsconfig package.json. In order to not get caught up in these things and just move forward with writing the actual smart contract logic, you can simply use a boilerplate. Here we're going to use a examples repository that we have set up and the first step is to clone the repository as given here in the code block so i'm going to do git clone and that repository here after that i have my project set up here in the clone uh, folder i will move into the directory here now by going through the contents of the project you can see that the package.json the tsconfig files are already here looking into the src folder you will see that the typescript project has an entry point called index.ts this is where the code will start executing so we are importing a script from contracts all succeed we'll take a look at that real soon and then if there's no error in import, importing the script here you'll be greeted with logs that says validator consult, uh, compiled successfully and some contents of the script all right we'll take a look at that real soon but first let's take a look into the contracts folder and see the script that we are importing here, it's on always succeed. So we are seeing all the red lines here because we have not properly installed the dependent dependencies of our project. So in order to do that, let's do npm install, which will install all the dependencies required for this project, including uh, Blue.ts libraries. It's also given in the lesson npm install. Let's do that. npm install. This will install all the dependencies required for our project. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the contents. Here is the actual logic of the smart contract that you'll need to um, consider. And we have some utilities that helps you compile the logic into actual Seaboard, which will go to the on chain and um, do stuff with it. Right. So here the function is simply return and a Plutus bool type true. That means it doesn't require anything to validate the logic and it simply allows you to uh, withdraw that. UTXO in the validator. So after all the dependencies are installed, let's see if we can compile this contract. So we have imported the script from the from the contract, always succeed, and let's try it. And the command to run this is npm run start. Let's try npm run start. Right, 
So you see the console log that we have assigned before, the validator compiled successfully, and you are able to see the actual script um, stringify here. So this is the CBOR hex that will go on chain. Now, let's take a look at a simple faucet with some logic. Right? So if you can go and take a look at the simple faucet, SRC contract simple faucet, SRC contract simple faucet. Here, you're able to see a little bit more of code here. All the others are the same. The same utilities are used to compile the contract. So here, let's see a little bit deeper into what's there. So here we have assigned a constant with a byte string of this. This is the Plutus PBPL token that we have used in the course. So it says that uh, if input of the transaction has the access token of this policy ID, then validate the transaction. So in order to withdraw any UTXO from the contract, you're going to need to have this policy ID, a token with this policy ID. So let's try and see if we can compile that. So I'm going to comment out the first uh, script that we have imported from our succeed, and then instead we're going to use the one from Simple Faucet, right? Save this and let's try if we can compile this. npm run start. Congratulations, if, we, if you have got this as your output, then you have successfully compiled that simple faucet. And here you can see that the CBOR is a little bit longer because it has some validation logic. We will test this contract in further lessons, um, but congratulations on compiling, successfully compiling a 2DS Cardano smart contract. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.